Hello, welcome to Strong Family Farm Take 2. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel we have Isaiah 2.22. Stop trusting in him who has but a breath in his nostrils. For what account is he? So just remember, try and trust in the Lord. So, last week was pretty rough. Um, this weekend I kind of just um, locked myself in the house and I went out one time and that is to get this material and other than that I crafted sewed um I finally cleaned the house I hadn't cleaned the house in a week um every plate that we had in the house was dirty um yeah it, it just last week was rough um two deaths RJ's accident he went to the dentist Friday they had to cut out Part of a tooth that had broke off at the gum and uh, yeah so uh, there's some others that they're going to try and fix and yeah it's mm, it was rough so um RJ swelling in his face has gone down so that's a good thing okay so he's his face is swell is back down he came here Friday because he couldn't eat anything. Um, I made breakfast pancakes and eggs and stuff because he hadn't had anything good in a while. He, he had eaten mac and cheese and mashed potatoes. That's it, mashed potatoes and gravy and mac and cheese from the time of the accident until Friday. So, and he just, he's like, Mom, I'm so hungry, but I can't eat anything. So, I made pancakes and some egg, you know, scrambled eggs, and uh, yeah, I buttered up, it's funny, I buttered up some toast right as it came out of the toaster, so to get that mushy feeling, and then I cut the trim off like when he was a little kid, and he just looked at me, I said, the trim, the crust is still hard, and so he ate that, so we had breakfast for dinner on Friday night with him, and it, it was good, it was good, we were all laughing and carrying on, and, and it put him in better spirits, and it, Relieved Mama's heart, you know, to know that he was okay. Um, so, yeah. But then this weekend, I just kind of locked myself in and needed to get in the right mindset. Um, so I started, I have three littles that come to my office, and they are the ones that brought me chocolate cake for Valentine's Day. So I make, made them treasure bags. There's two girls and a boy made the boy. Now I made, I didn't bring it with me, but I, I made one of those. Oh yes, I did. Hold on. I made a gift bag for mom, a treasure bag for mom. Now the treasure bag bottom, the same as these that I'm making, it's sailboats and stuff, but it matches brothers. So we have matching there. And then the two little girls of course have pink. Um, inside I put things like googly eyes, a pen, and just a little bitty pen, a little bitty notebook, and a little pen or a ruler with shapes on it. Um, what else? There's a little eraser and a tattoo. Just little things. The one thing I am going to have to tell mom is I don't know how age appropriate it is for the littlest little because I don't want her putting anything in her mouth. So... That's why we're going to put them in mom's treasure bag. And I will put a, a lollipop from the office in these two. So this is my gift to the littles that brings chocolate cake. Um, she said they might be back for St. Patty's Day. So that's why I wanted to get them done and out of the way. If not, I know they'll be back for Easter because they came Halloween. And so, you know, I know they will come Easter. And if they come and they haven't come before, I will make sure they get those for Easter. And I actually have a couple of bigger notebooks to put in them. So I might tuck some more treasure in. If they don't come by St. Patty's Day, they'll definitely get it for Easter. And it'll be double loaded. So, um, I made those Saturday, and then I thought, I'm just going to start working on these bags. And, and, you know, this is a mindless thing. So here sits the last 18 bags. All of the handles are done. 
all of the French seams are done. I sit, and they're all pinned. All I have to do is two seams, the two on the sides, hem the top, and put the handle on. 18 of them. And then I will have my urine gold done. See, I got a little carried away. Might be an understatement. So I got tired of doing those. So I went back to Hobby Lobby and got the same material that I did the um, white outfit with, I got in this um, pink, mauve I don't know what you want to call it. it. It's just a weird color. It's not really pink, but it's not peach. I don't know what you'd call it. But anyway, so the skirt is, just has to be hemmed. Okay, the skirt is done. It's nice. Uh, then I cut out this and I have the back and the front seam together. I have the interfacing for the front pinned on on both sides. I don't have it seamed yet. That will probably come next week. Uh, and then I have the arms cut out. I, I have them pinned. I don't have them seamed. Um, so the only thing that I did on this that or I did it on the white one and I, I should have done it on both. Uh, but that is when I took off the other color, because oh, it wasn't laying right. And then I just made the, I call them a C collar interface just because I don't know. It looks like a big C. But anyway, um, when I did that for the white one, I didn't make a pattern. So now I'm going to have to make, one for this one, but I'm going to do it on the fly the same as I did the other one. I'm going to lay the collar down, trace it, and go, hmm, there's the inner C, here's the outer C, and then, yeah. Um, I will probably try and make a piece for that, a pattern piece for that, just so that they're uniform. I don't know. Um, I have thought about getting a little accordion thing for the um, patterns that I'm making, but we'll see. Uh, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so I didn't make the pattern piece for this, or if I did, I lost it. I don't remember making it. But I thought I did with you guys because I thought we discussed, and I didn't go back and look at the, um, videos, but I thought I discussed how to make it even, but that could have been on the cuffs that I ended up not using. Don't know, don't know, don't know. All I can say is, oops, because I don't have the piece, but I'll just make it again. You know, it's not a big deal, but so this is in the makings. Now I did use the same material, different color, because this will give me four distinct looks. Okay. Four separate outfits. Um, this and the white one will give me four looks without even trying. So I can wear the jacket from this one with the skirt from the white one, or I can wear the skirt from this one to the jacket with the white one, or then I can wear them together, or I can wear this one together or the white one together. So that gives me four looks all the same pieces. Um, after this, I am probably, uh, excuse me, I am probably going to make some pants. Um, just because I want to try and make two pairs of slacks. They probably will be black, but of this same material, um, and very straight legged. Um, I don't like these form fitting things. You can see, yeah, I'm a pear shape and I don't need a pear shape and these don't fit right. So yeah, I, I'm not real happy with the way my pants fit, but hey, it is what it is, but I'm going to go and get some fabric and make me some different pants. So after that, and they probably will be 
I want to do a gray one because I think gray would look great with this. And I want to do maybe a black one and maybe a white one. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. But the next thing on the agenda is, after I get these done is pants. So, but yeah, um, I do plan on finishing up those 18 bags. Um, and I'm going to work some on this. I don't know how much work I'll get done because if you follow me in the crochet, you know, I have lots of littles going on there. A lot of little gifts that are little projects that I'm trying to get done between now and Easter. But I think that is about it for all for now. And all I can say is thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.